Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Oh, I'm Office Bloke Mike. Okay, here we are, the two of us. Yeah. One of the things you might not know um, yep. about the USA and the UK is the size of the trucks. I know right, you okay. spent a bit of time in New York. Um, yeah, yeah. But when you go sort of like, uh, if you drive anywhere, it's like uh, out in the sort of like in the country, not, I wouldn't say the countryside, but if you go in interstate, let's say, the big yeah. trucks hit the highways. You don't yeah. really see many of them going from like, you know, JFK into New York City yeah, or anything right, like that. Okay. So like, it's not, there is highways, but not obviously the main sort of like link roads that are going <clears> from, say, if you're traveling from New York to LA, they're not yeah, like coast right, to coast. Right, okay. So these big haulers have like trucks that like make put ours to like. Because yeah. pretty much the, the biggest ones of ours are pretty much 40 foot, I think, aren't they? Yeah, 40 foot, 40, 40 foot, 53 foot. You can get 53 foot. 50, um, ah, right, okay. Yeah, and then you have the cab on front of that. Yeah, um, sort of thing. So you probably that's like about, the box standard. Probably size, looking about seventy it? odd foot. Uh, yeah, give it all in all. Yeah, we, we, probably the longest ones are probably like seventy odd foot. I would guess. Yeah. Um, right. Okay. Um, but in the USA, I've got a friend who drives a car carrier. Oh um, yeah. He does like another one that's like the car stacked up and all. Yeah, that. yeah. And he's over a hundred foot with, wow. his, with his cab. And he showed me last time I was in the USA. He showed me a picture of his cab, and it's like really impressive. It's it? nice. Right. Yeah, it's probably nice. smart. So I thought we'd have a quick look at this. Um, uh, how car hauler lives on the road inside the trucks. <laughs> right. One hundred and fifty six. Okay. Is that saying 156 foot, foot sleeper? Wow. Mm. That's big. Yeah, big, yeah. isn't it? it so, looks big. Yeah, so I'm not sure what this is about, but let's get into it and see what it's yeah, uh, See if we can get it, an idea of what a trucker lives like in, yeah. the, in the roads in the USA. And actually, I used to deliver steel across the way over here to WSP, and I'd always look over here thinking, one of these days, I'll be there. And here I am. Hi, my name is Rick. I'm from Canton, Ohio, and I've been with Reliable now since March of this year. I am an owner-operator here. Size I tried to get into huge, Reliable yeah. back in 1999, but I didn't have enough experience to get in here. So through the years, I've tried to accommodate myself to where I could come to work here. And finally, when I put my application in, they hired me, and I went through orientation, and I did my uh, training and everything, and I couldn't, I couldn't expect to be working at a better place. The kind of work I've been doing at Reliable is I've been hauling. Uh, with this trailer, I haul the oversized equipment, oversized trucks, uh, pickup trucks, dualies, vans, oversized uh, work vans. It's been a great experience so far. Well, the truck behind me is 2020 Cunworth W9. It's got a 156-inch wow. ARI sleeper. It's self-contained. It has its own bathroom, kitchen. It has all the amenities anybody would want to be on the road with. It right, it wasn't 156 foot, it's 156 inch ARI sleeper. I see right. that. Right, uh, right. Okay. right. That's what he mentioned, <clears throat> yeah. It's 156 inches, what's that? 12 inches and a foot. So that's 10 foot, so it's more 10. Is, uh, 15 for 13, 15 foot. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, because one's in the in like a UK and Europe, you've got the cab like that, but then just like just join a little bit it. on the end. Yeah. Just big enough well, for like they have like a, a bed. bed. When well, they have a bed up like above the above the uh That's right. the back yeah. of the cab. So yeah. you've got a little bit behind the cab, behind where the driver sits and then the cabin's like a little yeah. sort of like a sleeper on top. That, that's right. where that's they go. usually pretty much it. That's pretty it? much it. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. That this was looks like a little house on the yeah, this looks like a little bit different, doesn't it? I think I used reliable when I moved when I relocated down from New Jersey to Houston. I think reliable was a carrier we used. I think it was like a franchise at the time. I don't know if it's the same one. But I remember it being big orange trucks that turned up. So I think I'm pretty sure right. it said reliable. Yeah. Yeah. Great colour to have as well. Yeah. You see them, you stands know, out, don't coming down. Yeah, yeah exactly. it really stands out. It's, it makes driving enjoyable. Now that I've told you a little bit about my truck lift, let me take you over here and show you a little bit about the inside of it. Welcome to the inside of my truck. Let me explain a few features to you. Like I said, I have an 18 speed manual transmission. I have what they call a smart wheel. It has my Jake brake, all my clearance, my solar clearance lights, my uh, cruise control right here. I have these are my switches for my, operate my lights. Have you ever drove one of these? No, mm. no, I've not. I got in. We had we had a, a delivery come to us once when I was at the airport, and I asked oh, yeah. if I could ever go. And uh, when I went to get in, he went, "You can have to have long legs, mate. The drive, wheels on the other side, left hand drive." That was <laughs> like, it. On the right. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, great start! And he just let me drive it in a straight line, and then he said, oh, yeah. "Turn it round," and I was like. Ugh. Yeah. You know, I was like panicking a little bit, so I was like, I don't think I got out of first gear. Did you they're not? very difficult to drive. I mean, yeah. it, they're, they're, it, they're easy if you know. Yeah, I was going to say if you know, I'm, I'm sure. Obviously, the gearing system looks a bit complicated. 18 gear, yeah. so is, mm. you know, have you got it's higher and lower? Higher and lower, yeah. Or something yeah. like that. But yeah. obviously, with training, obviously, that's when you learn yeah, how to yeah, use yeah. it properly, isn't it? But uh, yeah, one of my mates is a truck driver at the moment um, over here, and uh, he yeah. tells me that the, drive, the trucks now are so easy to drive. Oh, really? Yeah, compared to when he first started out, they're right, like, okay. uh, 
driving around sort of oh, thing. I'm guessing with, guess with new technology mm. and things like there's yeah. a lot more. Yeah. I mean, even with like sat nav and stuff like that be all yeah. built in, won't mm. it? And be yeah. much better. Mm. My fifth wheel, my air, and uh, I have all my gauges. Of course, you know, AM, FM, Sirius radio. I have my GPS up here in the windshield, my CB radio, and CB. my PTO yeah. switch is on this side. It's with the red the red light on it, so I know when it's on and when it's off. It well, makes PTO this is. No, I'm not sure. driving experience a lot more enjoyable when you're able to sit back and relax in, a, in your in your workspace. We have a Jake break. Look at the roof on it. It's amazing. Ceiling. It's like, it's like studded leather, isn't it? It's, yeah. like a, it's like an old Chesterfield suite. <laughs> isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> right? Proper cab. Oh, it's midnight, it? isn't it? Yeah. And it's one of the best Jake brakes I've ever had in a truck. Yeah, my seats are air ride, and they're both heated, so in the wintertime, if you're a little cold, you could turn the heat on the seat and keep yourself a little warmer. Now, if I can, I mean, I could take you back here to my home away from home and uh, give you a little tour back there. Now I got you out of the cab of my truck. Let me give you a tour of the inside of my oh, sleeper, but my yeah. home away from home. One Easy. of the nice conveniences about my sleeper is the side door that I have. It makes it convenient when you're going to put groceries or your clothes or whatever you want to do put in the truck. It makes it so much nicer to be able to come out to the side of your truck and open the door and go in. And it's just, and it has its automatic step, so that helps you get in and out of the sleeper also. In the summertime, if it's nice and cool outside, I also have a screen door that you can open and close <laughs> wow. uh, while you're in the sleeper, just to just let the cool breeze come in. Now, let me take you up inside. Welcome to the inside of my home. Oh, wow. this is, like I said, this uh, is my home it. away from home. It has all the amenities I could want. Here is my bed and what they call a, a breakfast nook. It has two benches on each side and a table. When I fold the bed down, the table lowers down. I have my sink. Uh, I have hot. That. Right, I guess your table becomes the base of uh, the, the bed. bed. The table go down between those two benches and then his mattress is there. Yeah, and as so he pulls the mattress down, that goes down. That come yeah. down on top of it, yeah. yeah. It's on like a, a pulley system, isn't yeah. it? The, the yeah. table Seems by like, the yeah. of it, so it'll just go down. Wow. And, uh, that's incredible, well set up, isn't it? Like, absolutely. It's a proper brilliant. setup, isn't it? That's the way to travel, that, isn't it? Yeah. Your trucker. Wow. <laughs> Hot and cold running water because under this, this seat, I have a hot water heater. And I have on this here is my panel, which operates everything. My, my engine block heater, my water heater, my water pump, and these operate lights. This is another light switch, or this is my generator. So when I, I can start it from right here, and you can't even hardly hear it. Mm. I have my stove, and I have plenty of cupboard space, as you can yeah. see, plenty yeah. of cupboard space to keep That's well kitted out. food, yeah, whatever, it? dishes, closet area, another storage area, more storage, and here, back here is a spot where you can keep your blankets and pillows so when they're not using your bed. I have an overhead air conditioner, it's also a heater, I have a flat top stove, coffee pot, and it don't move, but it has, mm -hmm. day and night shades. So the day, you can leave the day shade down, night, it just makes it a whole lot nicer to sleep in the evening. Now over here, as you can see, I have a microwave convection oven. I can use it as a microwave or an oven. And I've cooked a lot of things in the oven. I have the refrigerator freezer, which makes it real nice and handy because all your food is here. Like I said, here you have a lot of food also. And here is for my smart fan, which is here. So when I'm cooking, I can open up a window, use this control to open this vent. So when you're cooking, all the fumes and everything goes outside. This one here. It's like a bloody smart little apartment, this, it isn't, is, it? isn't it? Hey? Exactly. That is mint. That. This is like you say. Really I, mean, I mean, obviously, you know, back in the days, people used to sort of stop at motels and stay in a motel right, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Now they get the gear in the trucks up to sort of like proper, like hotel on the road, isn't it? Yeah, and stop guessing, wherever you need. I'm guessing in the long run, it's cheaper as well, isn't it? When you're hauling your own thing, you yeah. pay for motels yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. And I'm guessing the distances to traveling, oh, especially yeah, in the yeah, states, yeah, yeah. it's got yeah. to be absolutely yeah. huge, hasn't it? Yeah. Guessing to sometimes the. Like export and drive down like Mexico way, yeah, so Canada, yeah, things Canada, like that. So, yeah. so yeah. some of the distances mm. must be, they must be away for a long time. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Yeah. something like this would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think cross country um, or long haul truckers, or whatever they're called in the in the USA. I imagine it's. Um, I don't know. I remember someone saying to me over here, "I'm a, a long distance lorry driver." 
Yeah. And I went, I ain't a long distance lorry driver in the UK. I'm like, how far are you going, man? Yeah. And like, they said to me, I've got to do the continent. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. And someone else said it, and like, where's the father's you going? He's like, Sheffield. I'm like, that's not long distance, mate. I can walk to Sheffield from here. Yeah. You know, in a, in a, few, in a few hours. Yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, but when these guys are proper serious long haul truckers, aren't they? Long ways, isn't it? Yeah. I bet yeah. there's thousands of miles. Yeah, it yeah. must be. Operates my overhead. I can adjust the temperature to whatever temperature I want it to maintain in here, and it'll maintain a nice, cool, or warm temperature. This allows me to know what my inverter is doing and how my batteries are doing. And this here allows me to know what my water storage is, how much water I have in each tank, and I carry two tanks, 140 or 120, so I carry 60 gallons of fresh water at all times, so I can have a shower, do my dishes, coffee, shower. cook food. This makes it nice. And here I got a 32 inch flat screen TV, Samsung. It makes it nice when you're sitting there relaxing in the evening. I have surround sound. I have a Wally, which is in motion satellite system, so I can watch it out if I wish. And here I have what they call an extendable counter, so I can pop it up. It gives me great space to be able to cook. One of the features my wife likes. In here, every, every bit is taken, isn't it? Is, yeah, you well laid down, out. So you don't have to worry about falling down in, in the in the gully, in the hole there. And it just gives you a little more extra space to walk around. And this is my shower and bathroom. I can't explain exactly how well it is. It just it's just an enjoyable to be able to have something like this to stay on the road, to be able to travel on the road, to be comfortable. I enjoy it. My wife enjoys it when we see with me. So this is my home. I hope you like it. Didn't show the shower room. I wanted to no, see how big the shower room yeah, was in the toilet. Yeah. yeah, obviously, obviously it's not going to be huge, is it? No, no, it's shot, tiny, but yeah. yeah, but it's just enough space. What, what you need, though, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Convenience, need, isn't it? Yeah. But to be able Mint to have that. it all in there in one place, mm. absolutely unbelievable. This is the trailer I get to pull. It's what we call a household trailer. And it's because I can haul the other vehicles that the guys with the lift gate trailers can't because they have uh, equipment in their trailer that they can't get vehicles around. So I, when I get to the site, I open my doors and I extend my ramps out. When I get done putting my ramps out, they come out to here and the trailer does lower because it does have a, a drop valve on the trailer, on the airbags. The reason why I have this is because the inside door is wide enough to put a dually in and you can't it's hard to put a dually in a lift gate trailer and I get a haul vehicles that I can put in that's tall enough that they can't get into one then because I don't have a second deck like the lift gate trailers do so let me take you around either side <laughs> and I can show you through the barn doors the rack and everything but this is the barn doors they open up nice and wide, so when I put a vehicle in here, I can get in and out of the trailer well enough to be able to strap my cars down. I have one rack, which is here, that I can put one vehicle on and raise up to put one underneath. It's just, she's set up nice. I mean, it just makes it nice because on the taller vehicles, I can put them in there and I don't have to worry about hitting the roof. Yeah, I like doing the household. It's a lot of fun. My favorite part of working reliable is just the camaraderie that I'll give everybody that you have here. And everybody's got a friendly face and a friendly smile and everybody's willing and able to want to help you. If you don't know what you're doing, just, they're not as scared to come and help you. Explain to you how to do it, make sure it's done right. I was told when I come to work here, the reliable is like just a big family, and I agree with that, it is, because I can walk into the dispatch office and nobody knows me by a number, they know me by my name, and that means a lot to me. Favorite experiences? Well, I don't, I can't say I have just one. It's been, the whole job has been just a nice, just a nice experience for me. It actually put a lot of joy back in my life to drive again. And I'm hoping that by the end of this year that, uh, my wife will be able to retire from her job and she'll be going with me all the time. That's what I'm looking forward to. And I think this job here, will, it'll do it for her. Well, thanks folks, let me yeah, take up part of your life. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my truck and my home and my job. I guess it's, it's, it's a joy and if you ever wanna get into the business, if you can get in here, 
Do your best to get in here because you will not be unhappy here. I promise you, you will not be unhappy. I just want to thank Reliable Carriers for giving me the opportunity to come to work for them. It's a big, it's a big step and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it seems like he uh, he enjoys his job there, doesn't he? He uh, certainly does, doesn't he? Yeah, he's, yeah. Loving, he's loving the tra the driving around the uh, around the. Yeah. Uh, I'm not surprised USA. when you got some flat to stay in as you're driving along. It's Absolutely. a little bit different, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't realise it was an actual it. car carrier like that. The, no, mate, I like didn't. Sammy, mate, Sean's a car drives a car carrier. I'm not sure if he's if he's indoors like that or whether it's a <clears> yeah. one that you, you know you see the cars on the uh, on the side. I'm not sure. <clears> yeah, normally the ones I've just seen his truck. The ones over here normally open, aren't they? Yeah, like metal frame, but then have the black alone and the higher. Yeah. Thing you don't so mm. uh, yeah but don't normally have them like that do we car carriers no purely no. for car carriers you, you, you know, get the so. ones that do like um race cars or or luxury cars yeah the odd they're, one, they're but... small they're just like one or two like yeah, trailers right. to carry you're not getting multiple um, yeah for, for cars like that yeah but that's uh the size of that is just like you'd never see them over here. i mean that's way too big for over here it's huge isn't it's, it Can yeah. imagine maneuvering it around certain no. roads around here you wouldn't I mean, you've got up a Absolutely no chance, would you? You'd struggle. No chance. And especially when you go to the USA and you're talking, if you're delivering cars like showrooms and stuff, a lot of the showrooms are on the major highways. I was going to say, which are I quite guess, wide. Yeah, I yeah. guess they're on like pretty big roads and yeah. stuff, aren't they? So yeah. it'd be a lot of, for access, it'd be a lot yeah, easier. Yeah, whereas you look somewhere down here, you go down to some of them, you, you know, some of them are on tiny little back streets. Oh, can be, yeah, can be, yeah. With, with you know, little twisty, turny yeah. roads and things, you know, can be pretty yeah. difficult to get there's, to. There's, so. a car, there's a car dealership just up the road from us, they Volkswagen one, and when, they, when they're taking the car deliveries, they block the whole bloody road. They, do, they just yeah. park on the same side of the road. And you got to wait, yeah, exactly. And so do we buy the car as well. I know, I know, yeah, <laughs> just so they the do me know them. They've got a massive car park they can pull into and still decide to park on the side of the street. They do have like the big, proper big car carriers yeah, as well, don't they? Do. They have like yeah. what about 10, 12 on each yeah, one, something something like I'm guessing, yeah. something yeah, like that. But uh, yeah, yeah, it can be a bit of a pain, but yeah, it's a great truck, that yeah, it's, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and they keep them clean, don't they? As well, look how clean it was. And all. I know it's for yeah. a show and all that, but when you see them on the streets in the USA, if you're working always, for a company and you drive yeah. around the company vehicle with the company livery, it should be clean, it should, it should be, be respectful. Yeah, I agree. It's absolutely got to be, I think. Yeah, yeah, enjoyed that. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.